Mandatory log. Docking with the carrier was successful, but the trip took a day longer than it should have. I will definitely be in my report at the end of this mission. The station is down on the moon that I am orbiting. And my camera drone here will go outside to check it out. Make sure that it's all safe. And we will perform a final systems check before we start commencing land on the moon. Undocking camera drone. In three, two, one. Camera drone undock was successful. At least that's a one working system. All right. Seems like most of our thrusters are working. Make sure we have one in every direction, at least. The hydrogen thrusters are inoperable. But I don't think we should need them for this journey. Camera drone, get us a look at that station. The other planet. Here it is. So there's our location. And some kind of unofficial mining site is down there. I don't know what all that's about, but I won't I'll make sure not to go near there. I'll just perform the maintenance required on the station. Camera okay, drone, you can come back in. And end this audio log. Prepping for departure onto the main systems. Hydrogen thrusters are inoperable. Other data? No other data of interest. I shall now prepare to descend in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Descent in operation. Ship fuel critical. The ship fuel is apparently critical. Let's hope that that doesn't interfere. We weren't equipped with the best technology. Plummeting towards the, the planet at increasing speeds. Everything seems to be working. Just hope that power failure doesn't doesn't uh, happen to affect this. Once I'm on the station, I will find out the cause of the problem that has caused the antenna to malfunction. I will then repair it and leave the ship for the colonists to come down and have a ship to get off the planet. If that was not part of my mandatory log, I would never have mentioned it. I will make sure to tell my boss in the final report that these mandatory logs are really annoying. Approaching the surface in, I'd say, about 15 seconds here. Camera drone, start a countdown. Operating thrusters.
thrusters are a go. Coming in at a slight angle. Camera drone, tell me about the, the floor. How, how far is it? Should have probably equipped you with the light. But it's fine. I should be able to do this decently. If I only slightly increase the speed. Ship fuel critical. I also have to worry about the ship fuel being critical. My ship has no weapons, but my company has assured me that if it was a problem, that the probe that they sent down to take ship me back fuel. out of the atmosphere critical. would have encountered it. Ship fuel critical. Ship fuel critical. I know that ship fuel is critical. Ship fuel critical. Let's just try to get ship this landing. Fuel critical. We're almost there. I can feel it. Ship fuel critical. Camera drone, get me a better angle. Ship fuel critical. Still have quite a bit to go here. Ship fuel critical. 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 And we have touchdown. Ship fuel critical. Shutting down the ship systems. I think we've done it. I think we've done it, camera drone. We're here. Come back to the airlock and we'll dock you up. And end the recording. It's so nice to have oxygen again. Well, there's not much oxygen. Not enough for me to breathe, but it's at least nice for it to be out there. It's also nice to have this gravity. Don't have to fly everywhere. Especially since hydrogen's been a problem. The ship was not very well designed. It's it was only meant to achieve its task of getting me here and allowing for some kind of transport for a ship that has carried fuel. With the battery power that we have currently, we should be able to make it to the station, but I'm not going to turn back on my reactors. We are also getting really close to that ore handling facility. is getting ever closer. This station should have one of the strongest antennas ever. It was built to house the strongest antenna ever. That's the main priority, is keeping that antenna intact. And if that's what's gone down, then that's what I'm here to fix. So far, the station doesn't seem completely, completely vulnerable, even though I was expecting a ginormous antenna. It might not be that ginormous. Seems like the antenna's there in the center. If I could get the ship to stop, then that would also be nice. Because my company sent, sent me in the ship. It's not mine. I don't know how to fly it very well. I wish they would have let me bring my own ship. I would have accounted for the fuel. Touchdown in approximately three seconds here. Three, two, one. Mm, I was slightly off. I have to recheck the camera footage, see if I was slightly off on the other landing as well. Okay. 
Let's go and check up what's up. What's up with the station? I just got a notification from the AI that a meteor storm is inbound. I didn't know that those were that common on this planet, but I guess they must be. Should be calling it a moon, but it sounds it sounds right to call it a planet. And also, my stairwell is broken. So this is going to be an annoyance to get on without the jetpack. I've been told not to use the jetpack very much, but it seems like every time I want to get back into the uh, Cabri, I'm going to need to. Also, there's a ship that has left the station. I don't know what I'm to do, but I plan to be ready for it. Storm inbound. Again, the meteor storm being inbound. I do have something on me, so that hopefully shouldn't be a problem. I did make sure to bring my personal weapon. I'm not about to go unarmed into an unknown area. Hopefully my company doesn't mind. Especially since I put it in my logs. Now, from what I know, the station is controlled by a Calvin AI. I don't like them. Even though I have top tier access, they always seem to deny me. So let's hope that that's not the case this time. It is flowing, it is flying FSTC colors, so that should mean something. And that is my division for people who may not be from the FSTC, who I would not know who, but if I get stranded out here, that's going to be the only people that get to see this message. I don't know who lived here before. Well, I think I just found their backpack. Oh god. Well, I hope they don't mind now. But, uh, that's not a good thing. And, what's that? I don't know what that is. Meteor storm inbound. heck just happened? Well, okay. Whatever that was just got up and attacked my ship, and whatever it was wasn't a very good driver. It also apparently had an, FTS, an FSTC signal because the turrets weren't shooting at it. Or they're just doing a terrible job. Are the turrets out of ammo? They might be out of ammo. 
Maybe that ship was stolen, but something happened. I should have enough to repair that, but that's not my problem. My problem is that whoever comes back down here is gonna need that ship. That was part of my part of my assignment. Was just to leave that there. Also, I've not seen the drop pod, but um. Okay, if that was someone, we just attacked my ship. They either just killed themselves, or they've gone inside the cavalry and are going to try to fly away. But, they're not going to fly without those three thrusters, that's for sure. Maybe instead I should be making sure that they don't get back on this platform. I'm going to make sure there's ammo in these turrets, configure them. We've got in the way of ammo. Hey, hey, Calvin, don't block me out. Calvin, let me in the let me in the cargo container, or I will shoot off the control pad. You asked for it. Okay. Okay, it is correct. We have ammo. If I could find out where my weapon is, that would also be nice. There we go. I must have dropped it somewhere. Whoa! Well, these turrets definitely are not firing. Um, I hope whoever owned that ship didn't mind me destroying that, but what was that? That was a tusk. Oh. Well, we know that those are hostile now. If we see any more tusks, it's shoot on sight. Well, if that's the case, I should probably find my way out of here. I wasn't equipped with any weapons. Where's the drop pod? Let me see if I can interface with the antenna. Okay. My broadcasting was on. And this antenna doesn't seem to be feeding me very much information. There's a tusk over there. There's a facility and another tusk coming. I don't think that that tusk is manned, but it might be a good idea to check out. Uh, I could... I'll deal with that later. I've I've not been able to sleep for a while. That that trip taking a day longer than it was supposed to. I I was awake for that whole day. It was bad. It was really bad. I just want to get in the station, and I guess this is going to be a combat journey if I can't find the pod. Me not picking it up on that antenna does not make me feel any better. What else can I find on the antenna? Hmm. I'm gonna have a browse through old readings from the antenna. If I can find a terminal around here somewhere. Let's go inside. Okay, this room wasn't pressurized. Meteor storm inbound. Another meteor storm's inbound. Terminals around here? Anywhere? Oh, nice glass. Hopefully Calvin will let me in. I really don't like Calvin. Terminal. That's a medical terminal. Wait. I just left the doors open. Okay. Well, here's a terminal. Okay. I'll be right back once I've found some information on these antenna readings. Okay, I've learned some new information. It's nothing good. So, 
the drop pod was here. It did make it. But four days ago, it went offline. It stopped transmitting. For whatever reason, the station back on the moon over by Earth did not pick up that the transmission was gone. So they still sent me on this mission as green to go. Maybe it had something to do with my mission taking longer to get here. Maybe it didn't. But there's also an unknown signal coming from over there on that planet. That planet is uninhabited. There shouldn't be anyone else here. And another problem is, is that that drop pod had a jump drive in it. And it wouldn't really matter too much if I knew how to use a jump drive. But I don't. So, since whoever is living in this mining facility seems to not like me, those people who are flying an FSTC signal down at that unknown signal might have a jump drive. It should be simple enough for me to make an uh, interplanetary craft, but the problem's going to be getting that, getting them to help me with the jump drive, or getting these people, but I doubt that. I destroyed one of their probes, and yes, that's a probe. I made sure to check. But that was definitely a manned craft. Wherever that man went, I do not know. May have been the owner of the facility. May have been the one who killed everyone at the station. I've counted three dead bodies by now. But, I just don't know. And it won't really matter, as long as I can make sure that this facility can defend itself. And so that I can go and get that jump drive. Because there's no way that I'm going to let the people coming later have to deal with this. I'm pretty sure that they're just colonists. There's no engineers coming. I'm the only engineer that's going to be here for a while. So yeah, that's my mission. I could easily just try to leave, but... It could take about four or five years to get all the way back. Jump drives are a necessity. I just really hope that those people over there really hope that they know how to use a jump drive. But also, looking in this direction... Oh, there's some kind of ripping there, so... Whatever was right here got blown off by something. I don't know what was right here, but there's some components on the floor and it just doesn't look good. And also something over there is blown off. Looks like maybe an assembler, because I only see refineries. Luckily back on the Cabri, we should have we should have those kind of materials. That's what I thought I was gonna be doing, but just not gonna happen anymore. I have to defend this place. I am no combat engineer. Not as much mandatory log. Surface of the moon. I'm having a lot of fun with this gravity. And my my ship, as in my previous log, is destroyed for the most part. It's thrusters, at least. It is operatable, but... This gravity is slightly lower than on Grey Bobby Land. And there's nowhere near as much air. So it's kind of like a trampoline, but much less of a trampoline and more of just like flying, but without a jetpack. And you can't move. Yeah, it's pretty fun. But enough about that. I have to be able to enjoy, enjoy something here while I'm destroying enemy probes. I've not been able to figure out what to do quite now. I don't, I don't know exactly what to do. I probably need some kind of operation to make weapons. Something like that. 
But I just... I just... I don't have weapons back on the Acabri. And mining's gonna be a difficulty. Since we're in such low gravity and... Well, it's just boring. I wish I had a co-partner. But sadly I don't. And I don't think I'll get one for a while. Until I go to that unknown signal. There might be multiple people down there. It might be a colony. It might be... It might be a, a crash site. But either way, I'm gonna have to find out. But for now, this has been Bearded Lizzie. Trying to survive in this kind of space as an engineer. Trying to find out where the button is to get on the seat. Ah.